Hey, do you feel like you don't speak with enough confidence? Do you stumble over your words? Do you feel that you don't project loud enough? All those kinds of things about speaking with confidence. We are going to talk about that today on Social Expression. Hey guys, David here with Social Expression with another video today talking about how to speak with confidence. So, when it comes to speaking with confidence, the first thing we have to, to realize is we need to take a look at where our voice is coming from. I am also a musician and a singer, so I have a lot of vocal training. So I recommend if you feel your voice isn't loud enough and you don't speak from down here and you speak only from here, you're going to have vocal projection problems. So if I, speak, if I speak just from up here, you can hear how that's different then I'm speaking from my chest, okay? And this is really important for you guys who want to have a more masculine, manly voice. We need to speak from our diaphragm, as they say, right? Speak from, use our whole resonating cavity of our chest, of our diaphragm, supporting that, of our throat, of our nasal passages, the whole thing, in order to have more presence in our voice, right? More tonality and presence and more volume as well. Okay, so we have to pay attention to that. If you aren't, you know, and you're not breathing properly and all those things, it's going to affect your volume. That's just a basic physiological thing because the voice is an athletic instrument. Two, the next thing is, how is it that you are speaking? Are you enunciating like I am here? Sometimes I'll talk faster. If I get excited, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll talk faster. But I do my best not to put in ums or ahs or so's, and I do that, but also notice how I emphasize my words as I'm speaking to you in different ways. I'm, I'm changing the tonality, I'm enunciating in different ways. Actually, I'm even using my hands to talk, <laughs> which you may or may not want to do, but it shows confidence. It can show confidence when we speak with our body, with body language. So I went over a bunch of things right there. Let me unpack that. Enunciation, right? Uh, tonality, rising tones and falling tones and things, not just speaking like this. So if I just said, hey, this is David and I make these videos for you and they're really, really good. Kind of like the guy in office space, where's my red stapler? <laughs> like, it's just not as engaging or as charismatic, okay? And there's no right way to do it. I don't want you to speak like I do because I do have a lot of experience by now making these videos, public speaking, but it's a skill set you can build. Now. I, I want to make the caveat that if you have all this stuff going on in your mind, it's hard to pay attention to speaking more confidently and slowly. So another way is also to slow it down when we speak. I have plenty of confidence so I can speak quicker if I want. I can become across confident. I can speak like this and say, hey guys, check out the video. I want you to see it. But if you're really anxious, it would benefit you to slow it down. Okay, and slowing down, especially we want to slow down internally. We want to work on the mind internal piece, which is huge. It's where the anxiety comes from. And then we physically can also slow things down. One thing in cognitive behavioral therapy is slow talk. Okay, now notice also my use of pauses here and there. And sometimes I'm better at pausing than other times. So I'm really paying attention now because I'm talking about pausing but it can be really effective and draw people in, right? So those are a ton of points that I just boop, 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 threw at you on how to speak confidently. And my suggestion is to really work on one at a time when you're going out, interacting with people, whether it's at work, a coffee shop, if you actually like to go to clubs, you know, God bless you if you do, <laughs> more power to you. You want to work on one skill at a time because when we try to work on everything at once, it gets confusing to our mind and our body and it gets difficult to do. So that's what I recommend if you want to learn how to speak more confident, confident, confidently, confidently. So uh, please subscribe to the Social Expression blog if you want more tips on how to overcome social anxiety, how to increase your confidence, your connection skills, all that stuff, whether it's a personally or professionally. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. You want to get hit from all sides. If you like 
how I do my thing, how I present myself, and, how, and the information that I have. I have a lot of great information. But you also have to like me, too. If you think I'm annoying, then go away. Don't come back. And if you like me, I have a lot of great stuff here, I promise. So subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out the videos, too. i got lots of other videos. At, at this point in time, I have 80-plus videos. And there's only going to be more coming. So best in your social success. And until next time, I am complete. Hey, if you like this video and want more tips and strategies on how to overcome your shyness, social anxiety, self-doubt, and really build the confidence in your social skills, conversational skills as much as you can, up to the best you can be so you can have the career success, the social circles and friends, the dating life that you want, all that and more, subscribe to the Social Expression channel by clicking on the subscribe button and check out the other videos here that are on offer. This channel is all about helping you be the best guy that you can, like I've done for myself and I really want you guys to succeed. So keep watching.